video is demonstrating body fat levels on the gluteus. So you can see the styrations there, styrations in your glute. That's an indication of very low body fat, probably two or three percent. So this is after 11 years high carbohydrate vegan. Every single meal, I'm smashing it in. <laughs> Every single meal, I am eating, stuffing my face. And I haven't done a sit up for two years because I've got an abdominal wall tear. My physio said no sit ups. So that's how lean I am on this abs with no sit ups. Ripped, high carb, vegan, up to 70 bananas a day. Eat as much fucking carbohydrates as you want for low body fat and health. Eat as much carbs as you want. Be healthy, be lean, give it time. Thanks for watching. Oh! So you gotta remember, I've been at this for 11 years now. So I've been vegan 11 years now. I've been high carb, smashing it in for 11 years now. So you can't just do this lifestyle for 30 days and think, well, I'm gonna be as lean as Drew Rodder. That's great that you're starting, but just give it time as well. I've been at this 11 years. So don't think because you're not at 2% body fat after a year or even two that it's not working for you. Give things time. The people I'm training with at the moment with the running and cycling and kickboxing, they've been at it a lot longer than me. If I'm taking advice from them on how to get better. That's what you gotta do. You gotta take advice and people getting results you desire. If you try and get as good as someone in a year or two years or even three years and you don't, you gotta you gotta do your head in. So you gotta be patient. Give it ten years before you're really critical of yourself. 10 years consistency, having fun, hanging around people who hold you to a higher level, higher standard, no starvation, never, ever, ever restrict your carbohydrate calories, ever. Stuff in as much carbohydrate foods in your face as possible. Find the ones that work for you. For me, that's fruit. It used to be rice and potatoes, and they're great, they're excellent, but I find fruit works even better because you don't have to add the salt and then you've got the salt retention. So if you're gonna eat the starches without salt, then then do it, you know. Personally, I find the fruit a lot more uh, satiating. So smash in as much carbohydrates every single meal. Never calorie restrict your calories ever. Ever, 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 ever again in your life. Pound in the carbs every fucking meal. Smash them in your mouth. Smash it slow. Don't, don't, don't speed eat, just eat slow. But chew your mouth, save your meal, but eat as much as you want, never ever restrict. If you want low body fat levels for life, you gotta get the carbohydrate calories in. And if you're a woman watching this, you're not gonna have 2% body fat like me. You, women need to look like women, and men look like men, different hormone structure. So don't, if you're a woman, don't try and look like a man in terms of body fat and fuller levels. All right, we've got that covered. Be healthy, eat lots, get the early nights, drink the water, live like a champ. People will say, Harley, I'm not active. I sit on the couch fighting away my life every day watching midday TV and late night television. Well, my suggestion to you, or my question rather, is how on earth are you going to get toned sitting on the couch? How, how are you going to do it? You've got to get up. You've got to move your body. You've got to train smarter versus training harder. Always train smarter versus harder. Train smarter versus harder. You've got to move that body. If you want to get rid of the jigglies, you gotta shake it, you gotta move it. You gotta eat high carb, low fat, vegan, fruit focused, and you gotta move it. You can't sit on your only fucking ass. You'll get slim eating this way. This way will slim you down, but you'll be slim with jigglies. So if you wanna have the jigglies on your bum and your neck and your arms, then don't train, don't move. Stay still, stop, sit down, relax. Don't do anything, and you'll be slim. But if you wanna be slim and toned, looking like freely, you gotta move. You gotta push it. You gotta pump it. You gotta sweat. I'm not talking Bikram yoga, breathing in everyone else's farts. I'm talking getting out there, playing with the kids, mowing the lawn, digging the garden. I get a push mower. No noise, just pushing it, sweating, building the toning the arms, toning the glutes, toning the butt, toning the hamstrings. Tone it. Move it. Shake it. Use the stairs. Ride your bike to work. Ride halfway to work and catch a train. Walk, walk further, park the car away further. Run, chase your kids, run them down. Run the fuckers down. Grab them, throw them around, wrestle. Become a wrestler. Use your body. If you want to tone up, you've got to use it. Simple as that. So when you put this diet and lifestyle together, that's when the results happen, man. So that's just how it is. I'm sorry, but that's just how it is. Get up, move yourself, eat right, eat lots, and I'll see you in Toneville. Thanks for watching.